What's good, y'all? What's good? Welcome back to Royal Highness Vibes. I'm Royal Highness. Peace, love, and light to you. Hey, cousins. Hey, cousins, hey. Thank y'all so much for sticking around with the sister. Hitting that subscribe button. Rocking that notification bell. Likes, comments, shares. All that good stuff. Y'all know I keep my attitude on gratitude. So check it. I use profanity. I may say a few unholy words. Make you cover them ears. Grab them invisible pearls. Oh my God. She just said bitch. <laughs> Y'all, I don't use my words to curse. I do not dip nor dab in darkness. I don't go against will. I don't come to kill, steal, destroy, hurt, harm, nor hinder. With that being said, when it comes to me, think positive and speak life, please and thank you. All right, cousins. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody is well. Y'all, we in Aries season. So Spirit gave me some A's for Aries season. The first one, attitude. Your attitude, cousin. Watch your attitude about things in your life. Uh, about the energy that's in, on, around, and about you. Watch that attitude. Try to keep that attitude on gratitude. Be grateful for all things. Good, bad, ugly. You know what I'm saying, y'all? We all have tests, trials, tribulations, uh-huh, and trouble in our way. We all have that, y'all. It's your attitude about it that's going to get you through it. Number two, apply. A-P-P-L-Y. Apply more pressure. Apply more pressure. Put them stilettos on them Carmen's necks and apply more pressure. You know, they come to kill, steal, destroy, hurt, harm, and hinder us, no doubt. So many of them are masquerading as divine. Mm hmm. We have to know what we know, y'all. They're not divine. Anybody that like I said, kill, steal, destroy, hurt, harm, and hinder. Tell all them lies and stuff. They're not divine. They are darkness. Apophis. Apep. Apepi. Mm-hmm. God of chaos and conflict. So they're mimicking the divine. So they keep people stuck, stagnant, and still in that mud. You know what I mean? They don't want the divine to move forward. They don't want the divine to win. So they're masquerading as the divine, as chosen ones, things like that. But what we need to do is apply more pressure. Make them work a little bit harder. Uh-huh. If you're going to be like us, honey, you're going to put some work in. That's all I'm saying. Let's go. The third one, appreciate. Appreciation goes a long way, y'all. It mimics off the attitude. Appreciate the good, the bad, and the ugly in your life. Remember, what if we woke up with the things we only thank God for yesterday? You woke up and you only got what you thank God for yesterday. Appreciate all things. Mm -hmm. Appreciate self, who you are. What gives me acceptance. That's number four, acceptance. Accept who you are. Accept your divinity. Mm-hmm. Spirit giving me pain, man, energy. You need to surrender to the divine, no doubt. I know I'm easy to talk, y'all. It was hard for me to accept who I am, my gifts. Uh, like I said, I came from a small town. 
and having gifts like mine, man, people, they're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. <laughs> All right, and number five, applause. When you know you've done that work, you learn your lessons. You know the assignment. You accept that assignment. Kudos to you. You're doing the work. A lot of us, we put in a lot of work for spirit. You know what I mean? So, spirit saying, kudos to you. Good job. Well done. All right, y'all. Those are the A's for Aries season and throughout April. Attitude. Apply. Appreciate. Acceptance and applause. Here we go. Let me give y'all a disclaimer. I've had coffee and conversations with my spiritual team, y'all. So, and um, I'm in high vibrations. I'm in high energy. So, y'all know how I channel when I am in a high vibration. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to pour you some numerology, signs, and synchronicity. Move with me as I move with spirit and move with the energy. Cousins, know what you know. All right, spirit, I'm ready. Oh, come on now. Oh, peace, cousin. Oh, and playfulness. Get that. Peace and playfulness. So once you get that well done, that applause. Spirit bringing you harmony. Spirit balances some things in your life. Even not them scales. You know what I mean? You got favorable conditions. So you're not on that thin ice with spirit. Mm -mm, you're not on shaky ground with spirit. In fact, spirit helping you expand. You getting things built on solid foundations. You know what I mean? It's a sense of well-being going on. So by summer, oh, you're going to be ready to play. Work hard, play harder. You know what I mean? You need to let loose. There are no worries. You know what I'm saying? You need to get excited like a child for the summer. You really do. You really do. You need to be full of, you know what I'm saying? Let your imagination run wild, cousin. You know what I'm saying? Hit some things on that bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to your vision board. Check things off. You know what I mean? I feel like you're going to be checking off quite a few things throughout 2024. No doubt. You may be going on, on some vac a lot of vacations. Even if it's short ones. I take a vacation all day. You hear me? Give me a vacation. <laughs> you may be traveling, cousin. Good for you. Spirit wants you to be playful. Spirit loves that. Loves a chip for heart. Let them words go. You got an action that's only a thought. Action that's only a thought, cousin. So, once again, you know I tell you to put words behind them thoughts and then actions behind them words. You know what I mean? If you finally take that first step, one step at a time, one day at a time, prayer all the time, cousin. You're going to get farther than you think. By summer, you're going to look back and say, well, damn. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. So don't worry about what other people might think. You know what I'm saying? What they saying and what they doing. Don't even worry about that. Keep it moving, cousin. And your spiritual team, they support you all day. And so do I. I support you. We coming up, not this mud, and we moving forward. Leave them stick necks, stiff necks behind, honey. Leave them behind. Because we know we can't straddle no fence. We can't be lukewarm. Ooh. All right. Got the triple twos. I don't know if you've been seeing them a lot lately. But now it's not a time to be moody nor negative. Let that go. Don't be moody. I know y'all. Those comments, the the copycats, y'all, and even some of the toxics. 
get on the uh, good nerves. You hear me? <laughs> but let's not be moody about it. Let's not even look at it in a negative way. Start looking at it in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? You must be doing something right to have so many haters. Hating you for what? Because of who you are. That's all. Once again, kudos to you. Be you. This picture team wants you to know that they're bringing you some positivity, though. More positivity. Mm-hmm. They're telling you, we're here. All will be all right. We got you. Stand on that. You know what I mean? There are many great things you can achieve. Oh, yeah, cousin, you're headed for greatness. Look at that. That dove coming through. Mm -hmm. That communication. I thought you're getting some good communication coming in. You, you're getting some good news as well. It's all about love and devotion and having that hope. Have only positive expectations. And be strong. S. Stand. T. Trust. R. Rely. O. N. On. G. God. Be strong, cousin. Stand, trust, rely on God. The dove is about peace as well. So, um, so really catch some. Go ahead, spirit. Are you saying moving? Moving, cousin. You're about to move. You know what I'm saying? Spirit hitting you with a pivot, honey. They ain't gonna be able to knock you off your pivot. Reassurance and guidance that you're on the path, way of your desires. Let's look at you. Continue on your path, cousin. And keep your thoughts positive. Keep them thoughts positive. Mm hmm. You're on the right path. If trouble in your way, go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Drop two tears in the bucket. Okay, and keep it moving. And keep it moving. Ooh. Release, cousin. Release. Let things go that no longer serve you. That's not of your highest good. That brings you misery. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Y'all, I had to let anger go. I was really angry because my copycat put some mean comments in my comment section. She gonna watch my demise, death to me. Uh, R.I.P. my grandchildren and my mama. That type of stuff. And it angered me. Whew. But I had to release that anger. Cause that's, you know what I'm saying? Anger is on the same vibration as hatred. Same vibration as fear. That sort of thing. And the divine spirit had to come in and say, hey, You want to let it go. You want to let the anger go. It's okay for me to. Come on, y'all. Just come on. But I also know that she's going to get got by the most high. Spirit not playing with her. Spirit not playing with her. She don't see it coming, but it's coming. Oh, did I not say spirit ain't playing with her? <laughs> Divine spirit. You know what I mean? Not playing with her. So with this ego cousin. Spirit is. Whew, helping, helping build your intuition. You know what I mean? It's already on 10. With spirit leveling you up. Mm-hmm. Here's that hope again. Have only positive expectations cousin. But it's all about their freedom. Spirit trying to get you to release. Let go of negativity, disbelief, and cynicism. Let it go. It's about your strength. Your courage. Your resilience, cousin. Who's conjuring up something? Cousin, hold on. Bring it to me, spirit.
uh, cousin. Those karmas who conjured up, whew, or attempted to conjure up, darkness to come against you. Oh, spirit, not playing about that. Some of them sent death, like out of here, eighty six your ass. Mm hmm. They took a chance. They took a gamble to come come up against you, and you still standing, cousin. Strong my ass. Stay focused, cousin. Spirit, give me vision. Oh, you may be, be clairvoyant. You may be clairvoyant, cousin. But pay attention to the things that spirit shows you. By spirit, y'all know I'm talking about divine spirit. I know I call my spirit when I'm channeling spirit, but friend when I'm not. So when I say, thank you, spirit, I'm either talking to a friend or the other spirits that bring in the information, y'all. It's not the uh, divine spirit. There's no way I can stand here and be amongst that much light, that frequency, that uh, power, that much love to deliver these messages. Mm -mm. It's too strong, y'all. It's too powerful. You know what I'm saying? There's no way any of us can do that. And no... Okay. But uh, believe that your desires are possible, cousin. Know that you deserve them. That's the thing. You have to be accepting, cousin. Get in your yearn energy. Accept. Be receptive. Embrace the synchronicities that guide you towards the right events that will bring your desires to life. Mm hmm The pathway towards what you desire awaits you all day. Look at that butterfly. Get it, get it, cousin. You may be seeing uh, quite a few butterflies. Uh, I feel like we all been seeing quite a few of them, though. Um, I've been seeing it's the ones that with the same color over and over again. Like I've been seeing black and yellow, then yellow and black, then just a solid orange. Mm hmm. But it's all about your psyche, your spirituality, your soul, cousin. Like I said, spirit bouncing that out. You know what I'm saying? When our souls, our hearts, and then balancing things out for us. Monday, during the eclipse, uh, that's when you really need to, uh, I'm going to say, focus on your heart's desires. Watch your intentions, though. You see what I'm saying? Because we're looking at those intentions. We can try to manifest all day, but what are our intentions with the things that we're asking for? That's what spirit looking at. What's your intentions? Because there's some celebration coming your way. I feel it. You're getting, uh, like I said, a renewal. You're going through a powerful transformation. You know what I'm saying? It's all about your ability to move through them different life cycles that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, you may have been a butterfly twin flame journey. And with those, it's all about transformation. It's all about um, letting go of third parties. Uh -huh, leave to cleave. You know what I mean? Third party can be a person, place, or a thing. But you have to let them go. Anything that's been in the mix of you and your divine. Look at that crown coming through. Get it, get it. Your connection. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge of yours. Your consciousness. Mm-hmm. You, you're open to spirituality. Good for you. So you may be some type of empath where you just really open to uh, spirituality, to your connections to the universe. You know what I'm saying? To the God source. You letting go of earthly attachments. Good for you. Here we go. Y'all know I talk fast. Look at this. Level five vibes. Because you may have been a little lonely. Um, Y'all know when we go through hibernation, uh, we get a little lonely because we'll put in hangman and hermit energy so our spiritual teams can work with us, help us heal, help us learn them lessons, help us do the work. Um, But I'm also getting... Uh, 
your person may have a fear of rejection, to being a little bit doubtful. You know what I mean? I feel like you're disappointed in him. You're disappointed in him. Y'all, let me just give a disclaimer real quick. The divine, the twin flames, y'all, we don't come to kill, steal, destroy, hurt, harm, or hinder each other at all. Uh, I feel like some people are getting confused about who that divine partner is. Um, we're not fallen angels or fallen things like that, y'all. No, 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 no. Um, but the, the divine, we don't, we're not karmic. We don't do karmic things. We don't go against will at all. So I know people are out there reading and going against the divine union and saying that your twin flame did harm from things to you. Nah, uh that's not your divine. Mm -mm. Anybody that hurts you to the point that you hate them or can't stand them or don't want to be with them. That's not your divine. Oh, no, y'all. Y'all don't have to stop listening to what people spoon feed you. They, they spoon feed you bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Don't eat it up. Don't eat it up, y'all. And then you got quiet zeros. It says you're about to enter a new phase of your life. You're undergoing a mental and spiritual shift. And may not fully take charge of your own destiny. You have the power to transform your life, cousins. Your wishes have been answered. You see what I'm saying? Angels have come to tell you that your path will be illuminated. Start transforming your life now. Mm-hmm. Move on, cousin. Move on. All right, let's, let's keep it moving. Which one we give them spirit? All right, y'all, we're gonna hit these. See what's going on. 2220 spirit, let's go. Look, right off the bat, three is a crowd. Three is a crowd. Mm, mm, mm. So there's a person, place, a thing that is coming in between you and your person. I'm picking up um, definitely person or people. There's some type of uh, y'all and it's romantic and platonic is what I'm getting. Male and female. Wow. Which means that your divine union is very powerful. So it's taking all them to come between y'all. See what I'm saying? See? Twin flame. Told you. I'm going to twin flame journey. And it, it may be the butterfly twin flame journey. I said you had to let go of the third parties. You see what I'm saying? Let them go. So y'all can move forward. But any of them, them third... Look, Third parties that doing dark shit to keep you stuck sticking and still. Or spirit gonna handle that. Spirit gonna take care of that. We may not see it right away, but it's coming back to them. Trust me. Them boomerangs, they're coming back. Mm-hmm. And many of us, we're gonna be able to sit at the table and watch it turn. Oh yeah. See, if your twin flame push you to be better, you know what I'm saying? And to do better. Not come to hurt you, harm you, hinder you. These people that's over there in the terror world, y'all, they say anything for a dollar. They will. Anything for a dollar. See, that money start looking good to them when, two, when you two start paying them and they getting all these uh, donations, donate lives and stuff. Um, uh, Money consume them. So they try to get more and more of it. By saying anything. Anything for the money. That's a pop this shit all day. And I say you're an empath of some sort. Yeah, you are. Get it, get it. Mm-hmm. You highly sensitive. And you naturally giving. Spirit loves that. Be naturally giving. 
And real quick, for those of you who wanted to donate to my channel, um, I appreciate that. But uh, I don't want to accept your money. Mm -mm. Now, gifts. I accept gifts, though. But I don't want to accept your hard earned money. And many people who out there give to these false prophets and, and mediums and psychics and all that, they turn around and then pray for money. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Spirit said, uh-uh. <laughs> Because once we know better, we should do better, y'all. We should pay more attention to the people that feed us. Ooh, we got them green eyed monsters. Man, they got them eyes on you. They're jealous. They envious. Oh, yeah. They're looking at you like with that stank face. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nose all turned up. Because they smell their own bullshit to come out of their mouth. They smelling it. They know they're lying. But they can't stop because the money's too good. And for the record, YouTube don't pay me, y'all. YouTube do not pay me. I'm not monetized uh, because of the concerts that I post. It says reuse content. Okay. <laughs> Spirit got me all day. I'm not worrying about YouTube paying me. I'm just here to try to help y'all get what y'all need. So y'all can come up out that mud and move forward. Here we go. They got them green eyes on you. They know you divine. That light shine bright, boo boo. Look at you, Cinderella Mangle. Get it, get it. I'm picking up that. You know who your divine masculine is. But you're willing to let him ebb. Which means he has to learn his lessons. He had to do the work. Just like you did. So you let him L till he come up out that karmic shit. Toxic town. You know what I mean? So you like, I'm not waiting on him. And I'm definitely not gonna chase him. Uh he'll catch up. So you moving on. You're trying to strip that fat ass over there to Mr. Mo Better. Mr. Mo Better. He trying to come in as well. So just let go of the negativity. Just think positive. Just say, hey, he has the L. Let him L. Move on. You winning, cuz. Look at you. Look at you. You're going to end in success. You know what I'm saying? You're achieving a lot of things. You may be going through some type of promotion. Mm-hmm. Spiritually as, as well as physically. There's a victory there. It's all about your strength and your stability, cousin. You're getting your harvest. You plant corn, you're getting cornucopia. Trust that. Trust it. Shadow work. We have to do that shadow work, cousin. That healing, it's not easy. Make sure when you do shadow work, y'all, you spiritually led. Some things require the divine spirit to come in and help you heal that. You see what I'm saying? Childhood trauma. Oh, yes. And so we have to heal so we can help heal. You see what I mean? Hmm, cousin. Spirit giving me, well done. Well done. You healing something that was very, very traumatic. But your healing will help other people heal. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the process. Look at that. The wisdom of the heart. Your inner truth. Mm -hmm. I know many adults, y'all. We, we live with things. Let's move on, y'all. Let's move on. Let's talk about your intuition. Stay on 10. Your consciousness. Y'all know uh, I'm what they call woke. I'm aware of my spirit. My conscious. You know what I'm saying? But I was born on this side woke though. Then I fell back asleep. <laughs> We've got narcissists here. 
with this five, level five vibes. Mm -hmm. This person manipulate, manipulate you by shooting you alone because they couldn't make a decision. They couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Own up to who they really are. So they just stringed you along because they knew. Well, he knew he wanted you. There's nobody like you. But he didn't want to let you go. But he wasn't ready for you. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of envy there. See, even your guy envied you. See what I'm saying? But he let that empathy that you have. He let that empathy. What else, spirit? See, he had a sense of entitlement. He knew that you loved him. You know what I mean? He, he, was, he didn't think he was ever going to just walk away. He took you for granted. He took you for granted. Because of them trust issues. Because of trust issues. I feel like you both had trust issues. Wow. Intellectual man. You all in his thoughts, cousin. See, he was mind over matter, head over heart, is what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Well, he think about you day in, day out. On two occasions. Day and night, when he wanted, when he needed. And here you go. All in your thoughts. Mm-hmm. I'm picking up that, uh... You're real open-minded, cousin, though. You're all about that truth. You don't have time for blank, blank liars. You know what I'm saying? You're real mindful. Analytical is what I'm getting. Rational. Logical. Because you may be some type of... You're not judgmental. You don't like to judge people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, I, I try not to have no strong opinions. Try not to have a strong opinion. Because I'm not trying to judge anybody. Gene in the bottle. Your heart's desires. Come on, that though. I feel like your God. He really does want to be your provider, be your protector. You know what I'm saying? You want love? He want to give you love. You want loyalty? He want to give you loyalty. You see what I'm saying? He want to take care of you, make you a kept woman. And he want to give you some big data long strokes. I'm just going to tell you that as well. <laughs> what that spirit? Uh, hmm. For what now? Okay. I'm going to pour these, y'all. He loves you. And he's watching you. Mm-hmm. Behind the scenes. All right. Let's see what's going on with him. How right, he's feeling about the situation. Come on, Rick. He feels like it's over, cuz. He feels like you just walked away. Like, you don't want to have anything else to do with him. Mm-hmm. You changed in his eyes. Hmm. I feel like he's trying to end things with, with that karma. Heart with the key. He's trying to welcome that love you have. Mm-hmm. He feels like you are the one. You are the one. So you're trying to end things with Lucy Goosey. Or talk to Tony, whoever he's with. So he can come towards you. For a new beginning. Okay. Paradise. He's like you're paradise to him. You feel like home to him. You bring him that peace. That playfulness when y'all together. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. He he enjoyed being with you. You enjoy being with him. You got that expansion again. Okay. 
Part with the key. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. He definitely feels like you're the one. He does. He want to reunite with you. He feels like there's nobody like you. That passion between you two. Insane chemistry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that playfulness. Y'all have fun together. Y'all like magnets. Drawn to each other. Real passion. A stab in the bag. He's heartbroken. That separation is getting to him. He deceived you on something. He deceived you. He, and he feel bad about it as well. Yeah. He feel like he put one of them forks in your back. Look at him want to call you. Want to miss at you. Mm-hmm. Want to express his love to you. He thinking about you. He won't let you know. I told you. On two occasions. Day and night. And when he wanted, when he needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he needed time to heal. He needed time to heal some things with this clock. The love didn't go anywhere. I feel like you're getting some aha moments. You realize just how much you are the one. Oh, yeah. Karmic relationship. Mm. Yeah, he was over there with the karmic then. But he had to learn some lessons over there. Yeah. He won't let go. And love you. You tell me Lucy Goosey, not today, boo boo. Told y'all. Tell Lucy Goosey, not today. Get out of my face. He want her to get out of his out of his face. But she's competing against you, cousin. She one of the ones who try to be so much like you. Your clone. But she getting it wrong. She realized just how much. Your mister loves you, adores you, like you. He loves and like you. He don't love and like her. Uh -uh. He might have thought it was love at one point, but he don't like her. Mm -mm. And so she tried to be a little bit more like you. You see what I'm saying? Well, she watches you. She knows exactly who you are. She watches you. Got that hammer with the cassette. Mr. Thinking about things over and over in his head. Replaying events. Replaying moments with you. Um, and some of that is sexual. He has a spank bank. I'm trying to tell you. Photo. Video. Audio. Just the thought of you. Like that thing stand up. You know what I mean? Then he had to rub it back down. That spank bank. Choke that chicken. Nick. You know what I mean? Spirit. Hammer. So... Lucy Goosey tried to sabotage it. You know what I'm saying? She tried to sabotage it. Well, Mr. Wanna come in and put that work in. You know what I mean? He want to build with you. He chop wood, you carry that water. He want a solid foundation with you. So y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Start up from the bottom, now we here type of shit. He also wanna uh, put that hammer down on that kitty cat of yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wanna beat it up. Wanna do rounds and rounds. Make you lose count. He thinking about marriage. Mm-hmm. He has marriage on the menu. He knows his soul connection. It's running all over his face. You know what I'm saying? He probably be sitting there and all of a sudden he's smiling and you know what I'm saying? Lisa Goose looking at him with that stank face. Mm, what you smiling about? You, you. So he's thinking about texting you, calling you. See what I'm saying? Been not in love with his face. All right. What up, Spirit? Hmm, Spirit said gonna get his feelings. Come on in. Let's get his feelings, y'all. Let's see what he's in his feelings about. Oh, no, Spirit said, pull. What's the vibe? Okay. Let's 
see what's going on in the community. Huh? Let's go. I don't know. I, 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 I want my cards all to be turned the same way. Here we go. Let's go. Mm. Ooh. Now, who's getting this AL and health spirit? Ooh. The copycat. The doppelganger. You know what I'm saying? Miss Cap. Miss Copy and Paste. She getting the L and health. Y'all know that C could be anything from a common cold to chlamydia to cancer. She getting that L back. Uh, it looks like she sent things your way, including death. Including death, yeah. Oh, yeah. She didn't want you to move. She's jealous of you, cousin. Your copycat is so jealous of you. Y'all, as divine feminists, we definitely have copycats. You know what I mean? Your light aggravates her darkness. Aggravates Lucy Goosey darkness as well. Mm-hmm. Spiracy. <laughs> Spiracy, they got that broken P. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all seen uh, Insecure? What uh, is it? Issa. Issa May, when she did that little, uh, <laughs> and she did, <laughs> but anyway, it's called broken pussy. Yeah, they're broken. They need some healing. Anyway, she in the sea. Mm -mm -mm. Keep on shining your light, cousin. Keep on shining your light. So, Mr. gave you half of a goodbye. Told you he was, he was stringing you along. He didn't really close that door. He left it crack. So, he could try to find his way back into your life. Half of a goodbye. Man. You see, your light was aggravating his darkness as well. Mm hmm I feel like your mister uh, told quite a few lies. You tell her, huh? Lucy Goosey. No give you buck. She popping shit about you. Told her she know who you are, so she just eh, 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 eh. You know what I mean? You like, man, don't make me come shut you up. You got a nook if you buck, and that's just that on that. And by the way, sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. Cuckoo self. Cause you ain't coming to play. Like, ain't nothing cut a bitch off. Ain't nothing to cut you off. Ooh, wait. Cause, pipe down, boo boo. Pipe it down. Mm -hmm. Don't let her irritate you. Miss was over there being a deadbeat dad. Mm, mm, mm. He was on over there with Lucy Goosey to shut her mouth. Child support got a little bit high, a little pricey. So he tried to do and say things to make her happy. So she won't, you know what I'm saying, put that child support on him. That type of stuff. Put a little man to sleep or baby girl to sleep. Then he back out that door that he left cracked. Mm-hmm. Looking for you. Flashlights in the daytime. Have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Yeah, he was just over there being a dad, big dad. You need me. You need me. She talking about something. His family loves me. <laughs> Not getting what you want. You barely gonna get what you need. Who is this for, Spirit? Missed. Uh oh, you. <laughs> You're not getting what you want over there. You better don't get what you need over there with Lucy Goosey. That's not where you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? You listen to your family and your friends about the situation. 
But thank you for watching me, though. I appreciate you. But you're not going to get what you, you know what I'm saying, what you want over there. Whew. These L's coming through. A L spiritually. Yucky Ducky taking an L. Lucy Goosey taking an L spiritually. Big on. Big on taking an L. And that's your karmic masculine. Step your game up. That's how you feel, twin. Step your game up. Man. Can't rock with me. I'm divine feminine. So Lucy Goosey wants you to know that she and Mr. Divine Masculine. They do low vibrational things together. Mm-hmm. That's what she wants you to know. She can't wait to barb. This is surely you. Well, we did this and we did and he did this and that. Now I say, I'm your clone. And I'm getting it wrong. I can't rock with you. She can't rock with you. Neither one of them. Loosey Goosey nor Yucky Ducky. They trying though. They trying. They'll try to change their hair to be like yours. You cut your hair, she cutting her hair. If you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all a story real quick. True story, though. I cut my locks off, y'all, in November. My ancestors had been... I'm going to use the word nudging. Nudging me <laughs> to cut my locks off, y'all, um, as a sacrifice for my new beginnings, right? For hibernation. Uh, so I did that in November. And don't you know my clone cut hers off as well? And talking about it was for the same reason. Y'all see what I'm saying? Now she said she's walking around looking like a 12-year-old boy. Well, ain't nobody told you to cut your hair, boo-boo. Trying to be like me. And then she's talking about getting locks. Man, what? She needs to sit down. Here come the ex. Whose ex is this spirit? First of all, your guy went back to his ex. And your ex won't let you go. Big on that current masculine, he won't let you go. He's gonna have to though. Call the popo ho. Twin, you still on her talking shit? Let her talk shit. Just let her talk. She ain't hurt nobody but herself. Like right, she keep on though. She got a nook. You know what I'm saying? She feeling froggy, she gonna have to nook. <laughs> Twelve year old boy. <laughs> Y'all, she copping me so damn much. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's obsessive. Yeah, she's obsessed with me. Ooh, I told you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got good sweet patches, y'all. Them clones, they got a sweet patch. Mm -hmm. It's broken as well. It's broken. Told you. It's a little loose. You know, they may be attractive, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Maybe pleasing to the eye for some people. Because, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But, um, uh, it's... That right there is whack. It's like crack. Mm-hmm. Been around the block. Been stepped on. You know what I'm saying? Don't add it. Back and soda water, fentanyl, things like that to make it more potent. But it's loose, though. Don't have that grip to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it may be a little smelly, a little twang to it. Mm. Make you give you that stank face. It's been ran through. I told you it's been around the block. It's a little easy. It don't take much effort to get into it. Boring and broken. Mm-hmm. And clones got it. And she can't compete, but she doesn't compare. Because guess what? You have that kitty cane. That kitty cane. Your kitty kitty is like uncut uh, cocaine. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she can't compete. What's the thing about that thing? And it stands up. I'm trying to tell you. Tall, too. You still got a big one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they be over there cheating and lying and thieving and deceiting and all that stuff. That is that crazy bitch out there again. So she, I feel like she just, she's threatening, making like idle threats. And one thing about divine feminists, well, especially me, I don't make an idle threat. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to motherfucking do it. Trust me on this one. Mm-hmm. And that's the issue spirit had with me, with my anger towards my uh, doppelganger. Yeah, I was ready to go kick a door in. You hear me? I don't care about no security cameras. I don't care about no gun. I don't care about the popo. And with my mind set on doing something, I'm going to motherfucking do it. Who are I, P? My grandchildren. That's all I want to know. Mm-hmm. But y'all, I don't have to touch her physically. She, if I want to hurt her, I can hurt her <laughs> spiritually. You know what I'm saying? I disassociate. And here she come. Miss Yucky Ducky. Miss Copy and Paste. Miss Cap. Miss C.A.P. Here she come. Full of lies and deceit. She's your Carmen Feminine. Your Dr. Ganger. That cheap carbon copy. Your knockoff. The understudy. That imposter. Impersonator. And your clone. Oh, yeah. Try to do everything you do. I know mine does, y'all. She say things I say like a parakeet all day. <coughs> Booger sugar. <coughs> Manipulate dip. Now, that's my parakeet sound. That's not right, is it? How parakeet sound? Anyway, she repeat everything I say. She does. Let's go. And cousin yours does, too. Just like you. She want to be just like you when she grow up. <laughs> she want to be like you when she grow up, boo-boo. Boo-boo. <coughs> she saying that. <laughs> you telling Yucky Ducky, get a handle on your low self-esteem and high insecurity. Take that mask off. Remove that Maybelline. Uh-huh. And them filters. Let's see the real you. Because she don't know who, who she is. She can't remember. She tried to be you so much, she can't remember who she is no more. That's what them yucky duckers do, y'all. That's their job. Disappearing needs. Mm -hmm. So she tried to ignore. Because if you like me and you've been calling out your yucky ducky, she trying to ignore it. You know what I mean? Like she don't see it. But she sees it. She has to see it for her to be repeating the things that you say, doing the things that you do. Oh, she watching you, no doubt. I ask mine, how you pick up on my terminology so well? If you're not watching me, if you don't know me, how are you saying the things that I say? Because one thing for certain, two things for sure, you're not channeling a cotton picking thing. So we're not channeling the same things. No, no. You're just stealing from me. It works for you. These yucky thickets are out for the dollar. Trust me on this one. These are my confessions. Mr. got some confessions tonight. There's some things he needs you to know. And one of them is that he loves you. There's no communication between you two. You disappeared on his ass. You're not, you're not texting, you're not calling. He don't know what to do. He's trying to figure that shit out. He telling them, I'm a divine feminine. You can't rock with me. Look at that. Get a handle, boo-boo. Get a handle. I'm a divine feminine. You over there trying to impersonate me. You know what I'm saying? Masquerade as the divine feminine, as the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? You're not, though. The proof is in the pudding. I got proof that you copying me. That's all I had to do. We just show that you copying me. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But don't make me introduce you to my dark side because I will. And she will be the one to fuck you up. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, spirit. Oh, <laughs> Divine 
feminine. <laughs> Mr. Rose, huh? <laughs> I can't show that part of Mr. Rose. <laughs> but Mr. Rose. <laughs> oh, boy, you tired of Mr. Rose. You want Mr. to get his shit together and bring his ass on. Mm -hmm. Just like he want to give you them big daddy long strokes. You want them. But here's what it is, though. You tell him, Yuckadecky. You would send her an invitation, but you're not going to do it. She can't come to your party. She can't come to your functions. She definitely can't sit at your table. She can't sit at your table. You see what I'm saying? It's a hell to them. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? We don't rock with the false, phony, and fake. We roll with the real ones. You know what I mean? She's taking an L in finances. Mm -hmm. She make money off you. She got to take an L in that. One more spirit and we're going to move on. <laughs> that is that crazy bitch out there again. Y'all can duck it crazy as well. She's crazy. She's the Lulu, as my <laughs> as my doppelganger say. Yeah, she put that in my comment section too. That's how I know it's her. And words she be using, y'all. I told y'all I'm trained to uh, pick up on certain things. Like I watch eye movement. Uh-huh. I watch... Body language. I listen to the words that come out of that mouth. The repetition of words. Like the word demise. She used that word. And just so happened, the person that put that bullshit in my comment section used the word demise. I got proof. Here we go. Yucka ducky. No matter what you do, you still number two. That's what that's how twin feeling. You have to use twins light. You know what I'm saying? To shine. Use twins terminology to shine. Her mannerism to shine. So people not loving you. They're loving twin. They're loving twins light that's within you. You know what I mean? You just an imposter and you still number two. No matter how many subscribers you get, no matter how many views you get, no matter how many compliments you get. Mm-hmm. It's still not you. You should feel like a fool. People not loving you at all. They don't know you. You too busy trying to be twins. Twins strong. Ooh, wait, you get an L in love as well. All these L's coming through. They all sitting back looking to my son. What the Mr. C on her anyway? She ain't even Mr. Type. Man, what, Mr. Sam? <laughs> That's where you're wrong at. That's where you're fucked up at. She's my type. Mm-hmm. I like everything on her menu. I want to order everything on her menu. Trust me on this one. And don't forget her shake, her smoothie, and her fries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. One, I told you I want to give you rounds of the rounds and make you lose count. I told you. Like, F you, Lucy Goosey. I'm moving on. I don't give a single fuck. Mr. Say, I'm focusing on my money. Look at this low level witch coming through. Yucky Ducky and Lucy Goosey. Give me a second, y'all. Mr. trying to focus on his money. He trying to get his money right so he can come in. You know what I'm saying? He may have to come in on income tax romance, but he trying to come in, though. Take you out, twin. Show you a good time. You know what I'm saying? You feeling like Lucy Goosey, yucky ducky. And you too, Tossy Tony, Miss Fab, big ass bitch. Um, anything you want to say about me? A two mean at me, so I know. Otherwise, you just doing this, bumping them gums. Shut that pie hole, boo boo. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. He tells both of us the same lies. <laughs> Lucy Goosey was cheating the whole time. Ain't no love and loyalty over there. Mr. Picking that shit out. Now, let's get to his feelings. 
And then we go in. Okay, let's go, Spirit. Y'all, I apologize for the long videos, but I try to get them out in one video so I don't have to do a part two. Because either y'all watch part one and don't watch part two, or y'all watch part two and don't watch part one. So I'm trying to get it all out in one session. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, Mr. Sam, my love for you frightens me. He know he loves you. He never felt this type of love before. And he don't know what to do with it. He want to come in and love bomb you, though. Be all over you. Touch on you. Kiss on you. Tell you he loves you. You know what I'm saying? Be uh, uh, Mr. Good Boy. He don't want to be in that bad boy club no more. He want to be a good boy. He want to slip and fall. You know what I mean? You want to slip and fall. Don't just want you, girl. I need you. I just want you close. It's just me and you. You believe in me? I believe in you. The way you hold me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Said I don't want to let go. Mister, I don't want to let go. Once he get you back, he don't want to let go. He want to. Neck this and chill. Tube in touch. Mm-hmm. Put the tube on. That's soft porn. <laughs> Aww. Mr. Try to concentrate on you. He feeling like he's no good for you right now. He has some confessions to make. He wants you to love him from a distance. Because he feels like he don't have enough to give you. I'm like, man, I need my money to come, up, come in. He trying to come up out that mud. He can't sleep. He can't sleep. He said he, he must have been crazy to say that it was over. He had to be a fool. To yell out, y'all were through. He had to be a fool, honey. Now he feeling all down and lonely. Ooh, back to your place. October London. Mm, that's making some a good night. October London. Back to your place. Mm, y'all about to do some sensual shit. Ooh, Mr. Wanna be your full time lover. He said he coming from your part time to your full time. What? This is trying to freak you. Mm-hmm, Jodeci. Told you, every time he closed his eyes, he wake up feeling so horny. He can't get you out of his mind. Sex and you be all he see. He said he'd give anything. Mm-hmm, take my money, my house, and my cars is what he trying to say. You, you, you know what I'm saying? He trying to be a genie in the bargain for you. Thinking you is all he need. I was afraid you would hurt me. See, your love is powerful as well. That type of love, he afraid you was going to hurt him. Like, break his heart. He didn't see your worth, I told you. He did not see your worth. Now he does. You intimidate me and intrigue me at the same time. It gets no better than you. Jason Lee. Mm, mm, mm. Mr. Mr. Oh, oh, Mr. Won't happily ever after with you. He want to put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. He like, will you be my wifey? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He want forever with you. He does. This is trying to find his way back to you. My heart belongs to you. That Jodeci. Missed on his Jodeci. <laughs> He's like, whatever you want, whatever you need. My heart belongs to you, honey. Nothing he would. Oh, time will reveal the barge. He's like, what can I do to make you feel secure? Remove all your doubts so that you know for sure that you're the apple of my eye. Mm-hmm. Miss C sees you. He's like, I see you. Your spiritual gifts frighten me, though. Them spiritual gifts are yours, man. Mister don't know what to do. He don't know what to say. He don't know what to do. He just know he loves you. He do anything. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to get away. He definitely don't want Miss Mobile to get you. So he want to come in if only for one night. Just to hold you tight. He been fancy, you know what I mean? Maybe he deserves for you to go out with Mr. Mo Better. He don't want you to. He definitely don't want you to give Mr. Mo Better that kitty cane. 
You're that head run. That speed ball yours. Oh, no. He don't want Mr. Mo better hitting that thing. If Mr. Mo better hit that, he's going to want to keep that. You know what I mean? There'd be no more room for Mr. Like, I only got room for two. I can make a list room for you. I'll make a list room for you, Mr. Mr. Tom, let's get married, though. I just want to marry you. Just come on in. Let me marry you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Trying to put a ring on it. Anything else, spirit? Told you. You care too much about what others think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Now let's get your feelings, and I'm going to let you go. How you feel about things, cousin? What you and your feelings about? What you and your feelings about? Ooh. It kills me. Yelling if they own Ooh, wait. You like a part of me wants to wants to leave. But the other side still believes and it kills me. Got that karma. Queen Aja. Ooh. I held you down for the longest. And I was there through all of the darkest moments. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. He didn't see your worth. That says all to it. You was your homie loving friend. Ooh, you like your good thing. It's on his way out the door. Mm hmm. Nor will nor. Your good thing, mister. Twin saying, I don't have to beg you to hold me. Because somebody else will. Mr. Mobile. Mm -hmm. You don't have to love me when I want it. Because somebody else will. Mr. Mobile. Mm -hmm. Twin single ready to mingle. She's like, shit, I'm not about to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be wrong. I'm tired of doing it all alone and on my own. Get it, twin. Mm-hmm. You say, I'm tired of that. You want somebody to come in and help you build. You know what I'm saying? Give you some stability. Killing family issues. <sighs> now, that one the toughest thing to do because family can't fold. They don't want to do right with the healing. You know what I'm saying? You sit here on a mission and they just. Mm, mm, mm. And while you were trying to heal them family issues, Mr. Kick Jewing was already down. You needed him to be your homie lover friend. And he couldn't do that because he was in a boys club in Carmen Land with Lucy Goosey. You love Mr. But they're unstable coming through. He's like, maybe it's better if we both say nothing. Walk away like we never knew. You're like, fuck that. I'm begging you. Please say something. Mm-hmm. You said, I know that we can make it work. But loving you is chaos. The fire is incredible. Mm-hmm. And baby, we know we can work it out. Come here and work it out. Take me on the table. Mm -hmm. With that rich six that I got. You know, I got that million dollar kitty cat. I got the million dollar. <laughs> you know this, mister. You like, shout out to my ex. I know he missed that. Mm hmm. Mr. Missing it too. Your comment has been talking to me. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. She's talking to you, too. But that's okay, though. She losing. She can't hurt you. Let me tell you, Mr. Come on now. Come on now, Mr. You know, your life changed when you hit this V. Uh huh. This JJ. Your life changed. It did. It's nurturing. You know that. I got that healing, kitty cat. Mm-hmm. That's sexual healing, boo-boo. Mm-hmm. What else? Mine by Kelly Clarkson. Get you some of this. Get you some of this. You know I question every motive, everything you say. Thought with you, maybe my heart wasn't meant to break. Can't believe I let you in. 
Can't believe I stayed. Mm, mm, mm. Get that in your life. If only you knew. Why are you trying to dab on your haters? Man, you dabbing on your haters. Man, you know they can't touch you at all. Y'all, my doppelganger, Lucy Goosey, Big Arm, and them Toxitonies. They're going to need a G6, a bird's eye view, a sniper, and friends in high places just to touch me. Man, they ain't going to be able to touch the hem of my garment. <laughs> Without those things. Okay, what they send my way? Twin, you feeling like you went for yours. Mister, now I got to go for mine. You know what I mean? You got to catch up. All right, y'all, one in living spirit. <laughs> Not only be blessed, but be a blessing. Peace, love, and light to you. Y'all have a good one, all right?